Hey, Steve, what are you doing? I'm getting this printer ready with a bed of tape and I'm going to wipe it down with some alcohol to remove the wax. We do like acetone instead of the alcohol. This will do in a pinch. So I'm just going to remove the waxy layer from this blue tape so that our plastic can stick really well to it. Because with these really tall prints, if we lose the first layer, we lose the print. Really tall, huh? Very tall print. Really well, for tall. something that's that narrow, has that narrow base and one dimension, you might think about buttresses. Oh, we'll, we'll give this a shot. I think it's good. Yeah. And it's going to take about four minutes to heat up, I think. So it's just coming up on 200 degrees right now. When it hits 230, it'll kick it into gear. So this is just laying down a perimeter layer. Yeah, it puts this first layer outside our actual print area just to give the extruder something to do. It, it just runs some plastic through it and makes sure that all the temperatures are, are correct. So amazingly enough, we're not at the studio this time, but we are at the house. And Steve Graver here just brought over the little itty bitty baby printer. And we just got it set <laughs> yeah. up. <laughs> so, Steve, what have we got here? What, what, what is this thing? Um, where's all the electronics? I don't see any wires. Well, I tell you, this <laughs> is called the Gigante. You know, this okay. is big, okay. a giant. Uh, it's a DeltaBot 3D printer. Okay. And I've been making a lot of the smaller DeltaBot 3D printers for a while now. Like the one on my desk. That's right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and when you asked me if I could make a big one, I'm like, yeah, I think we can make we a big can one. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah, That's but cool. I really didn't know if we could do it. Right. But apparently, we could. So it ended up here. All the electronics are up on top. Okay. The motors are up on top. Everything's okay. up there. And then, uh, uh, you know, the the, uh, the carriages are driven by these belts. Oh, cool. Right here. So cool. there's motors up there. There's electronics up there. And it sends the signals down. And the, and the carriages move up and down. And it's calculating. See, it's it's actually called a delta bot because it's doing these delta triangles. There's actually a triangle here and here. Right mathematically speaking, and so it's constantly calculating where the nozzle needs to be, and it's moving those motors back and forth so, okay. so that it puts the nozzle in the correct location. Cool. And we're just doing our first print right now. So you picked all this stuff up down at like Home Depot or put it together? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I all 23, I think. No. No. This is all custom all stuff. Custom yeah. Made. Yeah. Okay. All custom made. All custom made. A lot of CNC work. You know, uh, everything is uh, CNC aluminum. Uh, these are actually purchased extrusions, okay. so you can buy these oh, off the shelf. Okay. But pretty much everything else is all custom designed and custom made. Wow, wow, how oh, cool. Yeah. Even the electronics. Well, yeah. But now the, the plans are on the internet, though, right? right? It, it, or, that's well, what I heard. Yeah, well, the plans are on the internet for, for the small one. For the small one. For the small one. Okay. You can build a small one, yeah. yeah, you can go find that on the internet. Cool. Delta Bond. Right. There's a number of them out there. Okay. Uh, there's no plans on the internet for this. For, for this, a too, this is a little bit too high. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is this the first one in the valley? Or is this the this is the first one you've made of this size? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So you you're gonna build a bigger? Or? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay at this size. You know, we had a little bit of an issue, almost not getting through the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check your knuckles coming through the yeah. door. <laughs> so this may be just. Right size. For, for home yeah, use. Yeah, for right. home use. Right. Huh. So, you know, you can print 34 inches around. Right. And you can get about 4 feet, uh, 6 inches in height. So, so, how long do you think you're, you know, we're, we're going to print something about 3 feet tall here. Mm -hmm. And how long do you think this is going to take? Uh, it's going to take about 30 hours. About 30 hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this, you know, because it's just his first run, this one's running really slow right at the moment. Right, yeah. Just kind of wear it in, check it out. Right, there's no sure use in, you know, blasting through right. and breaking right. something. Let's start slow and then we'll speed it up as okay. we go along and okay. we'll just... Uh, so, so what would you think would be the fastest we could print reliably, you know, precisely get a really good print on? Well, you're going to be able to do travel moves at about 500 millimeters per second, which is... Uh, Super fast. Okay. <laughs> like, don't get your hands in don't there. Don't get your hands in there. Sort of okay. Okay. Yeah. And the actual printing process, we're probably going to be looking at about 100 millimeters per second uh, in, in 
printing speed. Cool. And these things up and running. Cool. So it's very, very close to some of the fastest small 3D printers that you can find. Right. And the limitation right now that we're finding is we just can't push the filament through the little nozzle fast enough. Okay. There's not enough grip. Okay. So once we resolve that, we're going to be able to get the speeds even further. Up. Huh. Okay. So. And, What's and it? This, this is just using three millimeter. Yeah, three millimeter filament. You can buy this stuff on Amazon or just you know any place. Very common. Huh. And then it actually has a little motor right here. Yeah. And there's a reduction gear in here. Oh, cool. And then there's a little gripper tooth gear uh -huh. in there, a hopped gear right. that grips the filament and, and push and sort of just puts this little claws into it and pushes it Shoves down. Shoves it down there. Huh. Yeah. But it's really just a glorified glue gun. You think about what a glue gun is? Right. You squeeze the right. trigger and the stuff right. comes out the end. Right. This is exactly what we've right. got here. Just without the shape. Very yeah. precise. <laughs> <laughs> What's now, it running at now? Well, the speed is at right now. This is probably running at about uh, uh, 15 millimeters per second right now. Okay. But the first layer always goes slow. You right. really want to get that plastic right. to grip the right. base. Because right. if you if you don't have a good base and you start printing up here and the right. base comes loose, right. yeah. you've just lost your print. Throw it off. So you have yeah. to make sure that that right. first layer really gets right. a good, okay. good interface. So that's okay. what we do. We go real slow, let the heat from that filament sort of eat into that plastic right. and sort of right. you know, uh, yeah, into the tape, I mean. Right. Yeah, get a good right. interface. Well, that's the end. Well, yeah. Steve, thank you much for bringing this in and getting the set up for us. My pleasure. And we're going to hang out here and watch this for a while, and we'll get back to you when we get this puppy ready to pop out. So when this second layer gets done, then it's going to start doing the, the sides. It's going to start doing the walls of the sculpture itself. And it'll be an inner and an outer layer and just work itself right up, just roundy, 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 roundy. You know, we're, we're aiming for about that tall. So we ought to be right about in this area someplace. So we've got about that much to go. But that'll translate into about that much over here. It's getting down to the wire here. <laughs> so the little counter here on the screen says it's 3,333 layers of plastic that the machine has put down to complete the sculpture. Well, we're on layer number 3,191. So we're getting pretty darn close. Now we just gotta hope we got enough filament left up here you know, it's going to be really, really close as to whether we can finish it off on that roll or whether we're going to have to stop, you know, pause the machine, change rolls, and start it up again. So, 58 seconds. We got, uh, we got two more layers. And that's all the filament we got left up there. Wow. Without opening up another spool. So... I think we're going to make it this time. How big of a spool of filament was that? Well, that's a one kilogram spool. 
So you can get that much of a, of a print out of one. Of course, it's all hollow inside, you know, so, so that helped a whole lot. You know, so once we get it done, I'll go ahead and pop it off of there and then measure the base because it's upside down. I'll go ahead and measure this bottom section and then go jump on the computer and make up a base for it and make up a plug to go in the bottom of it. And then, I don't know, we might have enough left up there to go ahead and, and print out the base and then just pop it off, get a little, get a little, uh, get, get a little uh, CA glue, you know, a little dab on each corner, stick it on there and you're good to go. So, to Steve and Jacob Graber, who are at Graber Cars, nicely done, gentlemen. Nicely done. A couple of little things we want to, you know, take care of, little, you know, changes we want to make in it, but wow. This is the first one in Arizona. It may be the first one in the United States, where, you know, he wasn't really sure as far as this size for home use. Excellent. Excellent job. You guys know your job. Go find that subscribe button down there. You know, don't forget to pop out to my website, sign up for my newsletter, so you can keep track of what the heck I'm up to next. I'm going to get to this. We'll see you all next time. sort of happen, you know, somebody wants a printer and let's make a printer. Let's make one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We, we have a 3D like printer. printer. Why don't we just print another 3D printer? <laughs>